Hi everyone, this is Kerem speaking and I'm running Tech Journal, which is covering global tech startup and sustainability stories. And this is my new format, which is called InShort, and I handle top three tech stories of the week. Week, week. Before starting the video, I will have a request from you. I'll be happy if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, okay, now let's get back to the video. And my first story is coming from Germany and the country announced that uh, uh, it would nearly double uh, its public funding uh, for artificial intelligence research. The money allocated to the development of AI systems now nearly 1 billion euros. But this is still behind the US and the US allocates 3.3 billion dollars for AI. With these funds, Germany is looking to set up 150 new university labs dedicated to researching artificial intelligence, expand data centers and increase access to data sets for training advanced AI models. The goal is to then convert the research and skills to visible and measurable economic success and concrete noticeable, uh, noticeable benefit for society. And my second story is about China and the Chinese automaker BYD announced this week uh, its electronic unit has struck a deal with a US based manufacturer Jabil to buy its mobile electronics manufacturing business uh, in China for 2 billion 2.2 billion dollars. Uh, I saw this story at Reuters.com and the deal with the the deal uh, will expand BYD Electronics I mean BE in short and customer base product portfolio and its smartphone components business as it looks to capture Jabil's uh, potential growth in the sector. Although best known for its electronic vehicle business uh, BYD started selling electronic components in 2000 components in 2007 the company listed uh, its BE unit on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange and uh, BE major BE's major business has been selling electronic components for consumer electronics products such as smartphones and laptops this was one of the three key, key business segments for BYD electronic accounting for more than 70 percent of its total revenue in 2022 and my third and final story is coming about sustainability and uh, it is coming from the u.s and u.s department of energy will uh, allocate 1.2 billion dollars for two large-scale carbon capture projects the projects aim to remove more than 2 million tons of carbon dioxide from atmosphere every year the Department of Energy uh, says that uh, that's equivalent to uh, annual emissions of around uh, 445,000 uh, gas-powered cars. The department also notes that the projects in Texas and Louisiana will employ 4,800 good-paying jobs. And uh, let me explain what is direct air capture. And uh, di direct air capture uses a chemical process to separate carbon dioxide from the air. And uh, it faci the facilities can uh, can then uh, store carbon dioxide underground or put into carbon-containing products like concrete that prevent the gas from getting back into the atmosphere. Uh, this is all from in short and tech journal i hope this video has been informative to you if yes please remember to subscribe to my channel like my videos and post your comments below also turn your notifications to hear about the latest videos thank you for your time and see you soon with the videos and bye for now